In this session, I'm going to cover ad placement strategies. This is how you make money. This is how you make money in your business. This is how you build a click money empire. People go to your site, they love your content, and some of those people are going to click on those ads, and that's how you make money. So this is what I'm going to cover. I'm going to talk about how, when to put ads on your new site, a warning about your ads, when too much is too much, talk about desktop and mobile and what the difference is, talk about AdSense placement, other ad placement, and uh, I want you to talk a little bit more in detail about the AdSense terms of service and placement policy. So roll up your sleeves and let's go. All right, so the big question everyone has, you're really excited with your site, you want to know, when can I put ads on my site? Well, let's take a deep breath, sit back, <laughs> no ads on your site for the first 10 to 14 days of posting three posts a day um, and three posts to your Facebook page each day. Now, I understand you're eager to make some income with this, but if you take it too fast, you're going to have some problems, especially if you don't have an AdSense account. So that is the other thing is if you don't have an AdSense account already, no ads until you have been accepted into the AdSense program. So when you go apply for AdSense, you're going to have a nice looking site, professional looking site with no ads on it and you'll get approved for AdSense. Now we have a whole nother module that talks about AdSense, uh, but I wanted to be really clear about that. And especially if you already have an AdSense account already, it doesn't matter. No ads till you have some content and traffic. Believe me, the reason why is because when you first put AdSense on your page, Google starts to visit your page and they start to look at your page and they start to look at your content and they start to look at the type of people that show up to your page and a brand new site just doesn't have the right amount of content or people and then they're going to start serving low quality ads to your site and then when you actually start building your site you're going to have really low returns. So it's really important that you wait 10 to 14 days, uh, three posts a day and three posts to your Facebook page until the traffic starts to come. Um, okay. How many times have you ever been to one of these sites and all it is is ads and it just drives you crazy and there's just ads all over the place? You don't like it either, right? Well, guess what? Your end users won't like it either. So we've all been to sites where too much is too much. The goal behind this is to find the balance of profitability but also serving and making sure that our end users um, have a great experience. Uh, of course, you can make money with low quality sites and you can make money that way, but um, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to have a long-term business or not. So I, I, I've done both. I've been in both worlds where I've had really cruddy sites, and I've made money, and those sites don't exist anymore. And I've had uh, business sites where I've been around for a long, long time, and they make consistent money. I'd rather have consistent money over time than I would have just like you know something that works for a month or two. So uh, be really careful about this and you'll know as you start to get complaints from people if you have too many ads. We're going to like work with everybody and we'll sh you know, share together in the mastermind uh, about kind of the strategies that work the best. Um, let's talk about the actual AdSense placement um, and I'll talk a little bit more in detail. So Ad, um, AdWords, Ad AdSense has a very specific placement policy. And I'm going to go and review some of these right now with you. In fact, let me make my screen a little bigger so you can see this. Now, that link is here, and we'll put this below the, the bottom of our, our video here. But I want to go ahead just briefly and talk about some of these. And you really need to take some time and go through every single one of these and read them and understand them. Not just read them, but understand them. And they are not kidding. They are not joking. If you mess around with this, you can get your AdSense account canceled. Yeah, accidental clicks, invalid clicks is the uh, is the number one issue that people have. By the way, there's a little video that you can watch that talks about this. Encouraging people to click, unnatural attention to ads, placing ads under a misleading header, aligning images with ads, site layout that pushes the con pushes content below the fold, and they have a good example of this. For if uh, your ads if you have a page and all you have is ads at the top, that's a big problem. And then mobile. Um, I'm going to show a couple examples of mobile here, but here's a great example. If you have your mobile site and all it is is one big ad on the top, that's a problem. You have some specific uh, rules to that. Formatting content to mimic ads. So if you, these are all ads, but if you have it interlined with your content, 
that's a problem. They're going to uh, cancel your account. Uh, and then offering compensation. Um, hey, you know, uh, click here and you know, you know, click on this ad. That's the first. If you have any words like click near an ad, be super careful because uh, AdSense is really, really um, careful about that and they will cancel your account. The other thing to understand is that if you click on your ads, your ads will, your ad account will be canceled. And don't ever do it. I mean, every once in a while, it might accidentally happen when you're doing your content and there's safeguards against that, but I'm telling you, don't do it, don't do it. Um, you can get your AdSense account canceled and they won't pay you. So it's really, really understand. So there's lots of other rules as well. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but they're very important to understand. So go through those. But the one rule I do wanna point out is that is ads on mobile. And I just showed the one example, but very specifically, um, on a mobile screen, we don't allow 300 by 250 ad units or larger above the fold. And I'll show what that means above the fold here in just a moment. But that's really important rule to understand because your sites will be desktop friendly and mobile friendly. In fact, we're going to talk about that in a second. Um, one thing that's really cool about Google is they have an optimal ad placement um, for mobile specifically. And they also have for desktop. But I would watch this because, you know, basically when we implemented this, um, it raised our income up uh, significantly. So, you know, you might look at some of these things as negative, but that, this actually it was a super positive. So, they give you some hints and, and strategies for um, mobile ad placement that'll boost up your revenue. But let's look at uh, a couple examples of this. Okay, so I'm gonna go to a, a couple examples of ads, and let me just go to little things. Let's go to um, one of their ads. Let's, uh, let's go to this one here about the the grandma with the longest fingernails. All right, so this is what it looks on desktop. Now notice what these guys have is they have um, an ad here and they have an ad here. Now be really careful, notice something. This is not an AdSense ad. This is an ad from somebody else. Um, you're not allowed to do this kind of thing where you're scrolling down with AdSense and then the ad stays there. Um, they mess around with their ads and change them different places all the time. So this is what it looks like on desktop. And this is what their site looks like on mobile. So let's go take a look at that same, uh, I think, was that under life? Or maybe, where was that under? That was under, let's go find it. You guys probably all saw me do it. Maybe it was under parenting. Hmm. Can't find it. Maybe there's a search. Let's do grandma with the longest fingernails. See if it pulls up here for us. There we go. So again, how you get here is F12 and then you go to your mobile view and you can look on different devices. Okay, so now watch how the ads are different. I'm at a mobile view and notice how they have an ad down here. Remember, Google does not allow you to have a large square ad 350 by 250, but you can have other ads. And, and some of these will be some of your best income right here. We live in a mobile world and it's going more and more and more mobile. So notice how the ad is, is another ad right here and it also says the word advertisement. That's another thing you need to make sure that you have the word advertisement above that. Your templates are already set up for that, but make sure you always do that. And then notice how you're scrolling through the content. Now I've seen three ads. The first ad was smaller ad, then we got a larger ad, and then we got another larger ad. One of the things for mobile is you're not allowed to have two ads on the screen at the same time, like two complete ads at the screen at the same time. It's a little subjective because there's different sizes. Uh, I do everything to iPhone 6 because that is the largest uh, one out there. Now, again, look at the placement of desktop to mobile. It's completely different. Let's go look at um, more of what your site looks like. So your site here, um, you've got an ad block here. 
and you've also got one right here in the middle of your content. This can grow bigger and then you've got one in the sidebar. That's for your desktop. Um, on the next page here, you've kind of got the same thing. And you've got an advertisement here on the side. And then we also have some additional ads down here from content, not ad. Now, these we're going to talk about these kind of ads here uh, more in detail. But these are a special kind of ad that's a little different. And we do some really cool things with that. Now, let's look at this on mobile. So the same article on mobile. And so we have our content and we have our ad that's on the front page. And then people scroll down and there's our next ad. And then there's our next ad. Now, be really careful about having ads too close to navigational buttons. You want to have them far enough away and so that people understand it's an advertisement, but not too close that people accidentally click it. So when we go to the next page, we can see that we have an ad here. And then we have an ad that loads up down here. And then we have an ad down here at the bottom. We always try to have an ad um, that is below, just below in the near area of where the video is. Yeah, because fun. people are going to spend yeah. time watching that video and we want them to see that ad. And then, like I said, we have an ad here at the top as well. So that's w what we do on our placement. And these, where the ads are right now is a very good strategy. We've had some great numbers. Every once in a while, we'll do some testing. We'll switch them around a little bit. But we've set up your templates for your ad placements to, to be right there for now. And it works really well. So the other thing that we want to talk about is other ads. So uh, eventually, when your site gets big, you may want to incorporate other ads besides AdSense on your page, which is a good strategy because you don't always want to put all your eggs in one basket. But the problem is Google AdSense pays really well. It's one of the highest paying. And so we always want to have it. So eventually, you want to get enough traffic where you can have Google AdSense for about half your revenue and uh, the others as the other half and then it kind of spreads it out. Um, I would uh, read the terms of service because it talks about having you know other ads on your your pages and you can only have three ads on your page with Google Ads as far as a regular uh, ads. They have some other things that you can put on and you can read that through the placements but generally we're going to just stick with two or three ads on a page. Um, we're gonna let's talk about native ads. Native ads is what I was just showing you here. These are called native ads right here. This is from one called content.ad. There's other networks as well. There's Taboola, there's Rev Content, there, there's a whole bunch of them out there. And what these are is these are all ads and they link to other websites that are like viral type websites and you get paid every time someone clicks on one of these and goes to these websites. They pay a lot less uh, than, than Google AdSense. So, you know, it's like, uh, they're kind of like the extra spaces on your ads, but a lot of them do, do get, you know, clicks. And so it's worthwhile to have them on your page. But the one thing to understand about placement is you don't want to tick your users off. And so, for example, in this example, I do just PG ads from here. Um, the, you can do PG-13, R-rated ads, and then but the problem is if these ads break the terms of service, then you're going to be in a lot of uh, trouble and you could actually get your AdSense account canceled. So that's the one thing about AdSense is you have to be really careful about the other types of ads that go on your site. You could have your AdSense account canceled. Infolinks is another company. Infolinks, um, we have a whole module on that. It will go and put um, links under words. So if words are highlighted and you click on it and you can um, make revenue with that. It also does lots of other things and it can kind of be annoying to the end users. So what I've seen with Infolinks is they, it can work, but sometimes your people get ticked if you do it too much. And so Infolinks is a good network. But then there's other banner networks. Now this, the, the, I have whole, uh, there's whole other sessions that talk more about these. But the bottom line is there's, uh, no matter what you're going to be using, you're going to be placing these ads um, throughout the site. 
uh, through the content. Um, there will be some advanced ad placements as we go when we test and we tweak. Um, but again, the whole idea is to increase the ad revenue without ticking off the end user. I'm going to bring this up again. Make sure you read the AdSense Terms of Service and Placement Policy. If you just go into Google and type AdSense Terms of Service, you're going to find that and read everything, not just the placement policy, but the actual terms of service. And read everything, understand the whole uh, AdSense program policies, read it, understand it, and just and, and the other thing of, of one other thing is like copyright material. Uh, that's why we don't just rip off people's copy. It's not just because we don't want to get in trouble with these other companies. We actually don't want to get our AdSense account canceled. That's why it's really, really important. Understand it. Take some time out, read them, understand them. So that's it. That's kind of our ad placement strategies and we'll talk more about the mastermind and just make sure that you're conservative, that you don't overdo it and really check your content as you get going so that you're always in compliance.